Welcome back heroes to some more Temtem. Last episode we took on the Dojo Master and managed to clear our name. Everyone in the town knows we uh, are the real Voltsy and there was a uh, imposter causing lots of mischief and it wasn't us. So we can now freely explore the town which is great. We sent some medicine supplies back to the crash site so everyone is pretty good apart from one person that's gone missing which uh, sucks for them. We have a bunch of quests to do as you can see on the, uh, the right of the screen. So we need to uh, Acid proof our surfboard, also we got our surfboard back uh, to um, trade a Temtem for it. But yeah, we can't, even though the quest does say, I don't know if I can check my quest from here. Uh, I can't check quests. Anyway, uh, I can't actually acid proof my surfboard, even though it says to go and talk to Suji to do it. So I guess I have to try and go to the underground, um, the underground to get the water supplies and maybe she'll do it then. But Oklana asked us to go to speak to her wife. And we can do that here, I think. Like, there's two places to go here. So I think I should go check them out first. That might be a house there. I'm not too sure, actually. I'm not sure if she said she lived, like, here or near the mines or whatever. But let's go to the places where we can potentially go and get some quests done. And um, hopefully once we also get the water supply, or well, water samples, we can then get the surfboard, then do some more stuff, then rescue um, One-Eyed Matthew because he's a little bit stuck in... Okay. Ah, okay, that's a... Um, one of the water samples. Great. So I get to... S that's the other water sample. And one of the houses here must have Oklana's wife, so we'll go check all the houses. Not sure which one it is. But I wasn't sure if... Um, where she actually lived. Right, so... Let's go back around. Might get to a few encounters here and there, which is fine. I think I've battled everyone in here, and... Would it be faster to go all the way around? Nah, I think we'll be fine. I think this, um... We can probably just go straight down past the little... Things. We have to come back here at some point when we... Get the, uh... Get the skates. Cause... Oh my god, he's got a Luma! That looks so cool! Dude, jealous! Actually, so jealous. I'm surprised I haven't run into a single Temtem yet, but here's the other sample. Right, so we've got all that. Oh, there's our first encounter. Right, so we'll next go back to Quetzal, try and find Oglana's wife. Just going to run away a bit a lot easier. Or, or I can do this, actually might save a bit of time. Go backpack, I have a smoke bomb. Uh, there. Takes us back to Temporium. Right, let's try to find her house. I forgot where she said she roughly lived. That's work in progress. It was near something, so we'll just speak to all the, um, all the people in the houses. Pip, pip, yolly. <laughs> uh, that's not the right house. One of these houses will have Oplana's wife, and that's a shirtless dude. He was cooking before. Still cooking. Yo, spaced out guard. Hmm. Okay, this is all the guards. That's not going to be it. I think this is the... No, this is some random house. That's the Smith's Guild, so we're not going in there. That leads outside the town. Don't want to go that way. Ooh. Do you want to go to the left of the house here? I'm explore this house. Not now. But listen. Not now. Quartz is on fire! Not now! Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a work in progress. Uh, nope. Good day. Hello, sir. New to Quartzel. Hope you enjoyed it to the fullest. We're very proud of our only city. Just one, but as pretty as we could make it. Uh, where'd you get that dress? At the Opal and Feathers, the best boutique in town. Should give it a try too. Uh, but hey, what about you? You're rocking that combination. Yeah, I look pretty good, man. I look pretty good. Sup? Uh, denizens everywhere. No offense, but is it a denizen thing to walk into houses like that? Yes, it is. It's a cool looking laptop, dude. I just clicked on commit push, I swear. <laughs> right. Uh, I think it's got to be one of these houses here. I think it's that one. I have a feeling it's going to be the house on the far left. Not this one, this one. She, I think she said something like, it's a funky house or something. This is it, yeah. I don't know you. Please leave. Wait, 
Are you Aizel or Klana? Oh, Klana sends me. Wait, Klana? Who are you? Where, where is she? We had an accident, but she's fine. What? Well, oh my goodness! Oh, by the great Motherstone! Is she here or she's just a bro? She's not in danger, but I need help. Don't want to mention that because we don't want to freak out too much. That's why she was taking longer than usual. The Narwhal always runs on time. Oh my. But well, thank you. Uh, Voltsy. It's nothing. Well, Voltsy, and I need help. Let me see what I have here. It was in this drawer. Ah, yes. Take this. Perhaps your people can use it. Squeezer. Okie dokie. And now, how can I help you? The rest of the crew must really have a lot of trust in you. Uh, the navigator is missing. Oh no. Kimmel? He's so much fun. One of Okolana's best friends. I hope he's alive. I haven't had any news about a crash, which means nobody here in the city has noticed it yet. That's probably normal. Everyone was so focused on that troublemaker. You know what? When you ask at the Jaguar Lounge, it's the uh, local watering hole, everyone goes there. Miners, smiths, guards. If anyone has seen him, you're sure to hear some gossip there. Got it. Best of luck, Volti. And thanks again for giving me the news. You are welcome. Alright. Dude, this town is so cool. Like, I, ha I like having all these quests to do at once. It's great. Alright, so in we go. Uh, someone here is going to have the information we need. Looking for a sailor called... Oh, not again. Yela is, uh, is them from work? No, they aren't. And in any case, they will leave them right now, isn't it? Bye. Okie dokie. Uh, looking for a friend of... You, Adam. Can't leave us alone. Oh, you suck. Hmm, you don't look like a local. Uh, have you seen a denizen sailor? Don't ask me about airships or sailors or anything travel related, please. I'm sick of it. Okie dokie. Hi, do I know you? I don't think so. Of course you do. I'm Jemina from Zadar. Don't you remember me? And you're Voltsy. Uh... That's not my name. Well, of course it is. You're Voltsy. How are you? How's Aina? Why are you wearing that thing? Oh, wait. Bye. I guess we'll have to speak to her once we had the, the cloak on. But obviously it doesn't really matter anymore because... Um... Yeah. Everyone knows we're innocent. I'm looking for someone. Best and worst place for that, buddy. Best place why? Everyone's here. Worst place why? Everyone is drunk. Have you seen Kimala Sailor? Hmm, I think I might. Wasn't he close to that dude? What's his name again? Something starting with Ma? Oh, whatever. The rock, rock hopper bloke that lives by the Smith's Guild, Ma something. Cool guy, go ask him. Okay, by the Smith's Guild. Uh, can we go around this way? No, at least out towards the uh, the docks. I say docks, like the... Uh, what do you even call it? The airship? Docks? Yeah, docks. I don't know. This guy looks really cool. For some reason, from the side, he reminds me of Kakashi. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you the person I need to speak to? Oh, they finally caught that faulty person. About time. But I'm innocent, dude. Uh, yo, what up? Enjoy our fine city. Okie dokie, that's not it. Uh, that's the, the miners or Smith's Guild rep. Someone around here. Oh, this is, ask the owner of the Jaguar Lounge about Kimo. Wait, maybe you could be it? Doubt it. But I need. Not now. Not. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, man. Let me go back to the lounge. Because I'm not entirely sure. Let's speak to the people behind the, um, on the till. Uh, I'm a visitor like you. Wait, I'm talking to the wrong person. Okay. You the owner? I am. This cozy little place is my life. Can I get you anything? I'm looking for a denizen sailor. We get a few of those every time an airship docks. Any other info? Uh, name is Kimo. Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. Why don't you ask Jemina? That charming elderly lady. Okay. Uh, Jemina, where is she? Charming old lady. Oh, you? Oh, okay. I was like, I his name very recently, I didn't realise. Yeah. Of course, he used to babysit him too. I haven't seen him in ages. He's a sailor now, you say? Um, so I guess that's a no. Sorry, I should ask a minor. Asking the locals, how clever. You're a smart one. Ask a patron of the Jaguar Lounge about Kimo. 
Wait, I guess I gotta stay in here. Uh, maybe you? Or not? One of you people, surely. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess not. Okay, looking for a sailor. Navigator of the Narwhal, you know him? Of course I do. I'm a senior air controller at the Quetzal Terminal. I know most of the airship crews of the archipelago. Kimo is a skillful navigator, but a bit too self-confident sometimes. There was uh, that time he nearly grazed the narwhal canopy with the mooring mast because he was on some sort of dare to fly with just one hand. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sorry. No work talk. Romantic dinner. Where is he? I have no idea. The narwhal was uh, playing the Kisawa Dinez route these days. I haven't seen that crew in ages. Ah, just my luck. Hey, I'm sorry to relay bad news. I've heard you asking everyone here. It's going to be so eager to find him. I'm afraid there's nothing I can help with. Look, it's too bad. We're on a date, you know, and... Oh, come on, don't be like that. They're having a hard time. Hmm, <laughs> fine. <laughs> here, you want to finish this drink? You look exhausted. We'll do you some good. Got an energy drink, nice. Ask the drunk about... Okay. Uh... Wait, ah! I'm out of patience. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wait. 94... Teferent's finals. <laughs> Got an awful song. Okay. Oh, looks like a dead end. What would Carlos do? I guess go somewhere else and find a new lead. Okay. I thought the junk people were down below. And oh, okay. There they are. That's Volsi, the one you've been looking for. He's after my friend. But please arrest him. I'm not doing anything wrong. What do you mean that Volsi? I think you're mistaken, Menke. They are blameless. Yorani herself has had that conversation with our captain. But they've been asking a lot of suspicious questions about Kimo. He says there's uh, these creepy Bel Soto people who sabotage his airship and... I'm a friend of Kimo too. Oh, hey, uh, is that true? They're all right, Menki. The dojo master knows people better than anyone. I... I'm sorry about this. I was worried about him. I feared for his safety. Volti, right? Please forgive me, Volti. Do come see my house. It's down south by the Smiths Guild. We have much to talk about. Yay! Stay safe, Faulty. And sorry for the hassle. I guess everyone's a bit on edge these days. Good luck with your search. Thanks. I will. Right. Let's go down south. Man, it's like a little, like, manhunt. <laughs> Come Detective Faulty. Right, south of the Smiths Guild, which is here. Wait. This house? Oh. It's me, Faulty. Oh! <gasps> Hey, he's alive! By the Solaro, Voltsy, it's you! How have you found me? H how are the others? The whole crew's alive, just wounded. Mm -hmm. Whew, that's great to hear. Don't know what I'd do without that, uh, gruff old Edia Touré. How'd you end up here? So when we crashed, I was holding tight to one of the ropes. Problem is, that particular rope snapped before we hit the ground, so it basically slingshot me overboard. Before I, uh, could know what was going on, I was just flying. I felt like slow motion. I was going so fast I thought I was just overshot, took me completely and fall over the western edge. That wasn't the case. I landed on some of those... question bushes? No, uh... Interra seeds that, that broke my fall. I still busted my leg. Mm -hmm. A couple of kids found me an hour or so later. Trying to crawl, they brought me here. And of all people, I re-met my old flame, thank you. Old flame? Well, old flame, ex-boyfriend. It was always an on-off thing, I guess it's uh, on again. <laughs> Time to make new plans. Yes. Nobody was expecting those Bell Sodas to shoot us down. Nobody had heard of air piracy of that caliber for decades. Mm. We'll bounce back. Menke's fixing my, uh... Oh, that's a little spelling mistake there, not left leg. Fixing my leg. Uh, you fix an Narwhal? Then we find a way to get back at them. I need uh, a way to Kisawa. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a problem. It'll take me a while to recover. The Narwhal can't fly without a navigator. I'm guessing it's also not flight worthy right now. Mm -hmm. I recall you had some urgent business to do there. Something about a detective. Yeah, I don't think you can rely on good old Narwhal this time, buddy. Sorry. I have no idea. Well, perhaps he could... Oh, I don't know. It's risky, but... Whatever, you could try. Ask Manky. Are you done? He needs rest. I need to reach, uh... Kisawa. Yes. There are no air airships. I've heard that. Hmm. Well, there is a way. Though I wouldn't recommend it to a rookie rockhopper. Or one who has never tried it, but... 
You sound pretty desperate, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be giving you some free rock hopping lessons. Meet me in the surface, south of the entrance of Quetzal. There's a mini temporium nearby. I'll teach you some tricks. Oh, before I go, gee, I'm really sorry about calling the guards on you. I was worried about him, and anyway, please accept this as an apology. You find it useful around these parts. Oh, a rock shield. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> as soon as you're done here in Quetzal, I'll meet you at the mini temporium. Ooh, glad to see uh, Kimmel is alive and recovering. The Narwhal still needs my help. Right. Uh, I don't think he's actually going to be there just yet. So we're not going to leave. So I guess we do that a little bit later on. So next what we want to do is leave this place, go to Suji, and get the acid proof on the surfboard if we can. I'm assuming she must do it now we've got the uh, the water samples. So I was thinking maybe we need the uh, the surfboard to get the water samples, but the fact we can get them now, hopefully that's good enough. Just got to run a little bit back. Right, might get into a few battles on the way. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Wait, anything around here? We need to go up there. That's for the captain, I believe, to get one eye Matthew out of uh, out of prison. Is that a... No, this is a cool... That's got to be the evolution of 2Y, surely. It's kind of got the same face. I don't know, I feel like it's got to be the evolution. I mean, ours might evolve soon, I hope. So we'll have to uh, wait and see. Alright, let's just run away. Hopefully we're going to some more battles soon, like some actual team of battles get a decent amount of XP. Oh man. Let me run away. Just need to get the acid proof surfboard and then be on our way. But like this, it's like a little, um, I don't know what you call it, but one of them sort of like long quest lines where you have to do one quest to unlock the next quest, to do a different quest, to then, you know, someone's the one you're in like a certain order. And I love that. Oh. I don't have any sense, so I don't think I have any sense. Actually, let me double check. Uh, I have. Any, I should sell these stuff though to get a bit of money, so I can buy some more bombs and whatnot. They're yeah, almost back. Let's try and avoid a few of the uh, the grass. So we don't get any encounters. Wait, not that way. Right, Suji, please. Give me the acid proof surfboard. Here they are. Oh, excellent, thank you so much, my dear. Now I'll be able to uh, ass assess the degree of the uh, solotic contamination in the quadzillion water supply. Make the necessary changes to the purification system. You've done your bit for science today, Volsi. It's only fair that science does something for you. Here, have this little vial. Okay. Uh, anything else I can help you with? Can you acid proof my surfboard? Let me see that thing. This piece of wood wouldn't stand a minute on contact with uh, solidic acid unless we apply my special anti-corrosion varnish. There. This should be a nice thick cover. Let it dry a bit. And there we go. All yours. Yay. Right. Who didn't uh, ruin its mojo or whatever your, you servers believe in? In any case, now it can withstand any amount of time. I guess I just another, little, another little spelling mistake right there. I guess any amount of time and solidic waters. Watch out for the spray. It can sting badly. Take it easy and make sure you do not fall while catching some waves. I'm gonna say it seems a bit dangerous, like just to Wee do this. Oh. Gonna get a little shortcut, but got this bad boy. I think on the waters here, I don't think it'd be actually the waters, but I think we can get a platy pet somewhere by surfing. So um if I find one, I'll definitely capture it. Right, we need to go. Oh, over there. And up there, okay. Go check this place out. Yeah, we must be able to find a platy pet around here somewhere. And then we're going to capture that bad boy. Uh, let's just run away. I want to get a Luma one because I looked and they're, they're pink. It looks so cool. Oh. <gasps> there it is! Oh, we're getting it. He's so cute! Such a cute boy. <laughs> 
Right, uh... Let's just... I don't think that will kill you. And we should definitely switch you out. Actually, I don't know. What, are you 10 levels higher? Water cannon might kill you. When this thing because you're both water type, you might live. We'll see. Please, please don't kill it. Yeah, we're good. Ow. Right, another water cannon. Do a little bit of damage and this should hopefully take you out. Okay, your speed's up. All good. Oof. Uh, one more water cannon and then one more sharp leaf and then we'll start throwing some uh, tem cards and try and capture this cutie like, I want to use it but I, I'm not gonna lie I do love my uh, Yukama I kind of want to keep on the team a little bit so I might just use two water types just because I love them both Come on, come on, yes, we got it, we got a platy pet, <laughs> oh it's what a toxic type, okay, cool, not bad at all, right, so what we got on here, ooh, underground, okay, oh this will probably be to take us to the um, secret passageway maybe, oh what is that? Oh, it's the imposter! There it is. General X will be pleased. What's that noise? Hey, who goes there? What the? Falsy? Ma, Max? What are you doing here? Wait, that's Manx? Oh, you suck! Thought I'd uh, stall for a while. But the uh, Tukumani are such pushovers. Because you can't count on them to do your dirty work for too long. Doesn't matter. I'm almost done in this heap of ashes. And now to pick up this package for the boss. And on to the bigger things. But first, I'll give you another good spanking, Voltsy. Oh boy, do I like my job. Oh, Max sucks, man. Oh, he really sucks. Oh, that's the evolution of that little, like, I was called. Not Smazzle, I'm not sure what it's called, but evolution of it. Gouda. Oh, man, Max, you're gonna get a spanking, dude. I hate this guy so much. Such a jerky rival, and then ends up doing this? Tend to be us and causing, causing some mischief? Dude. Honestly, I did not expect it to be Max at all. I thought maybe like Team Bell Soto would be up to something, but I like this man. Max is like, your rival becomes evil. It's so cool. Ah, oh, okay, I need to switch. Uh, Kazuma, and then we'll just go. Let's go for a heat up. Stupid Max. I hate him so much, dude. It's like, hey, we should be able to take that, yeah. All good. Just the water attack from the side panel, a little bit scared of. Oh, he's making it rest? Okay. Electric Storm! And then, uh. Yeah, should be fine. Or not. Okay. Not bad, not bad. This battle's actually kind of tough though. It's not looking great. Not looking great for us at the moment. Uh, if we go two Y, two way, and we go for a nice uh, wind blade. Just go DC beam take you out, and maybe wind blades enough to take you out. Good. Oh, close. We can use Tornado as well, but you got, I might just double attack the next Temtem because that thing's got a rest. Oh, it's Digital Temtem. I can't remember what, what Digital is weaker to. I think it's super effective, super effective against three things, but it's also weak to three things. 
So digital is... Oh, okay, so it's strong against... Uh, mental, digital, and melee. And weak to water, electric, and... No, is it... Yeah. I think I think we're that way, so I think I can probably kill it with... Do that, and then... Let's go with that. If I read it wrong, it resists water, uh, electric and water, or it just... Yeah, it's weak to it. Okay, gotta read it right. Woo! Get wrecked! We've got two Temtem left. Or oh, one Temtem. I think it's one. Hey, we're level 40. Maybe it can evolve now? Yeah, two. Kazuma and... Oh, Banshee! Banshee's... Oh, he's got a Luma Banshee! I forgot about that! Uh, Right, I need to... Wait, and then I'll just um, bomb Kazuma. So I think I think Banshee's four times weak to electric, or is it four times weak to the water? I can't remember. I think it's I think it's electric. <laughs> okay, Max, you're a terrible Temtem trainer, dude. Always killed your own Banshee. Stupid. All right, we'll go. Uh, Sherold, and go Crystal Dust, kill Kazuma, and then. Just take out the uh, Banshee and we're good. Just go for a DC beam and then Crystal Dust. I think Crystal Dust would kill it, but it'll do a lot of damage anyway. Ooh, I think that's just about half. Hey, level 40 as well. So we'll just DC beam and Crystal Dust and that will finish you off. Get wrecked! Ah, looks like you had the upper hand for once. It'll just uh, make it better next time I kick your ass. Eh, yeah, doubt it. But thanks for all that money as well. It's almost like free grand. Alright, so what's this like special horn there as well? It looks really cool. Um. Okay. Game. Game. Um. Okay, so I really love the game. I think I spoke to him again. I'm not sure if it's the same thing he said before, but you can't even show your face in Quetzal anymore. All the time you've lost here in Tukma. You're already late for uh, Kisawa. General X is already on his way. Nothing you can do about it. Enjoy your victory, loser. Yes, okay. I just reset the game. Don't have to fight him again. Good. But what is that thing? Look at this. She wins horn. Change the Temtem's toxic type techniques to water. Oh. Okay. Looks very ancient. Maybe fashioned from the discarded horn of some prehistoric Temtem? Must be a reason for it to be here. I see some sort of clockwork here. Perhaps it activates some mechanism? Should take a look around. Oh. Bun Bun! Just gonna run away, so what can we do with this then? Uh, can't get behind. Uh, so what we need to do... Is, oh, that's here. Oh, a little like, shortcut we can take. Go to that side. Oh, it says we probably want to go that way to here. Oh, could that open another way to the mines, maybe? That's got to be it. Let's go. Dude, Max sucks, man. He is the worst. <laughs> Oh, you got her! Oh, dude, do you remember, like, I think it was the first episode when we played this alpha update. Remember we saw that guy with the, um, the red Yukama, like the Luma? It looked really cool. When I ran back to Oklana, 
he was still there. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy just logs in and just stands there with his awesome looking, like, Temtem. -tem. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When I finish, when this game gets fully released, and obviously, uh, you know, I complete it, and I look really cool and have a cool Luma, there's, there's times I might just, like, log in just to just stand there and just make people jealous of how good I look. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, right, so I just go all the way around. This is a pretty cool designed um, area. I like this. I feel like this is going to be probably the final episode of this um, this alpha, and then like, obviously the series will return and start a brand new series when early access drops in January. Because I think we're not. Like, I think this alpha update was only the. Ooh, cool. It was only the um, the third island, and obviously I think we've just like explored it now. And I think we want to get to Kisawa. But I'm not sure how far the um, the early access is also going to go. Right, so maybe this horn unlocks this door here. Yeah. Hey. Let's report back to the guildmaster of the Smiths. Don't they can now repair the narwhal now. Alrighty then. And then I might use a smoke bomb to get back quicker. Because we also need to go back to... We can smoke bomb back, go and talk to the Smiths Guild, and then we can go to that area to get the thing for the captain, and then we're good. Although, no, no point smoke bombing back, we're almost back anyway. Might as well just quickly run. Might get into an encounter or two, but just save us a smoke bomb. And there we go, we're back. And Smith's Guild is literally just here. Yeah, it'll have been so much longer to, um, to smoke bomb back. You're back. But the good news uh, precedes you. The Miners Guild has resumed work on the mother, mother load. As they were getting our first load of iron today. I did it. I reopened the mines. Both guilds open you a great debt of gratitude, Voltsy. We will repair that airship free of charge. I'll let my artisans know that we have ore and gems to work with. How long, I, how long to hear the forges roar again? The hammers sing over smoldering metal. Nice, hey. Mm. Less poetry, more metal lurgy. Lurgy? <laughs> Captain Teray. No, I'm the Shogun of Sipanku. What? I was starting to think you deserted us. What the down below took you so long? Well, I... Yet one job, Voltsy. Guildmaster, how long will that take? The Narwhal should uh, already be in Kisawa. What exactly do you need? How's your structural integrity? Critical damage to the secondary beams, severe damage to the gondola and one of the engines. Most of the canopy is okay, and the trestle frame survived the crash. Spare secondary beams and gondola modules, then an auxiliary engine, standard tools for the rest. We can handle that. I'll need your engineer for the exact specs. She's wounded, but I know them by heart. Well, what are you doing standing there, Voltsy? I'll stay here and handle the repairs. You go tend to your other tasks. Voltsy, where's one-eyed Matthew? Won't you, won't you two together? It's a long story. He... Cut it short, then. He's in jail. What? Why? He... I said cut it short. You need to get him out. I... This is not about you, Voltsy. Get to that prison and free my first officer. Quickly. You... You don't talk back to your captain, Voltsy. You don't leave a comrade behind. Go free one-eyed Matthew. Now! The Narwhal can't sail without his first officer. Oh, dude, she is a bit... A bit mean. I'm, I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Right, so let's... um, Let's heal up first because we are very, very weak from the stupid Max battle. Right, now we're fully healed. We'll go and get the thing for the captain. And then we can uh, go and rescue one eye Matthew. And then we all good. And then we all good. Right, I think it's left, yeah, left from here. This will take us out, we surf around. And then get to the mines and we all good. We all good. Dude, I love Kazuma. So cute, love the little picture on that little loading screen. But anyway, uh, let's see. So we want to go this way. Yeah, just up here. I think that's the right way. Must still has to go this way, so it's got to be. Hey, little side pet. Like, Palmy wants to, but uh, again, that'll be really disappointing. I want to just like Luma hunt a, uh, a platy pet. Maybe stream it, but dude, I don't. I don't want to get one, be super happy, and just lose it when the game gets wiped in less than a month. 
So, uh, yeah, probably won't. Oh, hi. You come to me again. First as a castaway of the Fallen Skies, and now as a rider of the Burning Waters. You again. And again, we shall meet yet. But there is a page of another chapter. You're looking for one that looks like yourself. Without realizing that you're looking for yourself. For you and them are but two sides of the same page. Or the two edges of the same sword. What uh, they have become, you might have been. What have you grown into, they might have yet reached. It's not power of Temtem you shall find, but your own change, and the tamer as a human. What are you even talking about? In time you'll understand, for now. Show me how far along the process you are. I shall judge whether you are ready for the next step of your journey. Okay. I mean, I found the other me, I guess. But... Oh, nail him, bring it on. He looks really cool. I felt like he's someone we've met before. Just pretending to be someone else, but anyway, uh, let's do that, and I think, let's just double attack here, actually. Oh, that did a lot of damage. He is strong. Oh, wow, level 40, 40. Okay, this is bad. I'm not sure if this is the right way, either. Um, let's go into this. And we can Windblade you and Fire Flame you. Ow. Please don't kill me. Oh, the Tox is going to finish me off next turn. Ooh, going to go for a Tornado. See if we can take you out. Come on, finish it off. Nice. And Fire Flame can attack the Sparzy. I'm hoping the Sparzy will attack the two white. Yeah, good. Because otherwise the poison will just take me out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Good, good. Right, uh, you're weak to... I forget what you're weak to. Is it crystal? I think, it's, I think it is, yeah. I'm gonna right click. Oh, great, I'm weak to that. <laughs> it's gonna be fun uh, if I do that. And just attack you, try and take you out in one turn. My special defense is down. Oh no. That's fine. That's gonna burn me. Okay, so what we'll do next is that will take you out and then we'll just head charge you, I guess. Pretty tough battle, man. Woo! Hey, little footy. Uh, I won't do anything. I guess we just like head ram it and probably best just to switch out Kazuma and then I don't know let's try fire flame might do neutral damage oh man this is bad this is bad okay uh it's electric storm here and just I don't know head charge again DC beam? If worse comes to worse, I can always just like revive um, Yukama and then we'll win. Just like one water cannon would easily take this dude out. He's level 44. I mean, he's got like no stamina left, so we are. We're looking good. We're looking good. I don't think this guy's gonna win. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Electric storm. And just wait. Just don't kill me and we're good. There we go. Dude, that was tough. You don't disappoint, Voltsy. Good. Glad I don't. A baby step, but a step forward nonetheless. Very well. 
Already you have met others, good, loyal friends who shall stand by you when the darkest hour comes. Do well by them. Some way to the east, evil men guard an icon taken from a former brother in arms. Is it an old trinket? Valueless, yet priceless to an old man whose heart aches for the, the departed. Acquire it and return to the heartbroken man. Own your friend's freedom. Shall need all your friend's help sooner than you think. And now, I bid you farewell. Uh, we shall meet in another island to fight one crucial day. You, me, and the other three. I reckon he's the, um, he's a detective in disguise. So we are going over there. Okay, uh, we can heal up by the professor's little, like, lab. It's like, little custom setup, so it's all good. Uh, is it faster to probably just swim around if we can? Might be, I'm not too sure. Wait, is there a little... Yeah, let's keep going. Is it... Nope, a bit more. Hey, nice. Okay, now we'll get healed up. Just over here. A little portable temporium, and then we'll get the little trinket back, and then we're good. Right, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, got a little bit more. And it should be just around here. Is this, is this it? Oh, what do we have here? I have a puppet sent by old Captain... Um, Captain, Captain Collie. You can turn back and tell him you failed, like the others. Or you can join us, like I did. Have a new life here, away from the mind worms. Mm, that does sound kind of good, but I need the idol. Do you now? What's it to you? Is another trinket for that backpack just another piece in the game? You need it, then you have to earn it. All right, I'm ready. Okay, cool. This should be fairly easy. Alright, if I go... I oh, level 32, never mind, it's fine. I thought after how tough the um, Neolin was, this was going to be pretty difficult, but no, it's, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, it's fine. It's about defense down, don't mind. Oh, that's a little... Yeah, okay, I remember that. Water cannon it, and you're going to get absolutely wrecked. Level 29, dude. Getting destroyed. You renegade guards are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now that uh, grandf grandpa's got like no stamina, he's got to rest or he's going to kill himself, so it's all good. Ooh, okay, so if we just go double attack you. <sighs> that is so unlucky for us like we could have won this turn if that if we did like literally one damage more oh that's, oh that's unfortunate but it's fine gonna hurt ourselves a little bit but i mean it's fine so it takes you out right now we're taking that idol thank you very much and then why not matthew can get out of prison right so now, it would probably be fast if I just uh, use a smoke bomb. Oh, it takes us here? No, it's not going to take us back to the actual Temporium. <laughs> oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Oh well. Not an issue. Alright, uh, just keep running through. Yeah. Keep thinking I get like that. Some like different twists and turns here. I keep getting lost a little bit. Alright, let me just run away. No more encounters, please. I don't need anything. Unless it's a Luma, don't be encountering me now. Well, we've got a bit of money, like. Actually, I might wait a little bit, because um the end of the last alpha when we complete alpha 0 0.2 we got like I can't remember, it feels like, like a million pansons and we could literally just buy anything we want but obviously when they did the update for this they want people to have like infinite amount of money just to um, 
go and buy, you know, all the bombs in the world, all the revives, all the outfits, so they got rid of your, like, money and give you, like, a set amount of items. So, if they do it again, give us a bunch of money, I can just go buy lots of outfits just to make me look really cool before the outfit gets wiped. This would be nice, man, having this, like, I'd say I have this account for, like, a year and a half. About a year and a half? Yeah, about a year and a half. So the first 10, 10 bit came out, like, last September, the first alpha, but... See, when it got, Alpha 0.2 came out back in June, May, June, I, I started a new character. But, um, yeah. Right, so, let's go down here. Yeah. Oh, there it is! Look at that red cool Yukama, dude! Jealous! Ah. Want it so bad. Want it so, so very bad. It looks really cool red. It really does. Oh, why has everyone got cool, like, Lumas but me? <laughs> Alright. If it was, it was ages ago when I last gave upon that, this ancient treasure. Well done, Voltsy. Okay. Matthew, you're a free man. You know this too. You're an excellent friend in Voltsy. Hey. Mm -hmm. That I already knew. Thank you, Voltsy. I knew you were a stand-up person. I was going back to the Narwhal, Voltsy. The captain can use my help. Keep it the good job, you would make a fine sailor one day. Thanks. I shall miss that fellow, I tell you. What a riveting com conversationalist. Finally, the crew of the Narwhal have medicines, the repairs are underway. I found Kimo and freed one-eyed Matthew from prison. Seems I'm done here. I still have found a way to reach Kisawa. Koss must be waiting for me there. Perhaps I find another airship? I should check the airship terminal. Uh, don't we want to go... Okay, I thought the guy was gonna show us how to like hop rocks or whatever, be a rock hopper, but I guess we just go to the airship. I can't wait till like we get a mount in this game as well, like I'm assuming the mount's gonna be like having a bike in Pokemon we can just like go a bit faster. But I don't think mounts are gonna come for a long time. Cause like if you play like any MMO pretty much, mounts don't come till like near kind of the later half of the main story. Alright. Yo, what's up? Just my luck. First we get stranded in Omanesia during the blast of volcanic eruption. Now the freaking route to Kizawa is closed. Anyway, sorry for the run, landlubber. I'm Captain Magda. And Voltsy, I must fly to Kizawa. That's quite impossible right now, Voltsy. Something awful is going on in Kizawa. Some sort of massive attack by unknown airborne forces. Whatever it is, I'm not risking any lives. Sorry. Till that incident is over, I'm sticking to the Denez Omanesia route. Uh, how can I get to Kizawa? Well, I guess you could try the old rock hopping route at Kepuliza. Yeah, why not? If you're so down below bent on getting to Kisawa, put in this land practice an old sport called rock hopping. Like the name suggests, it's basically leaping from one floating rock to the other, uh, using only a hook. I've heard about it. Sounds awfully dangerous, if you ask me. And I fly for a living. But good luck with it, and if you want to travel to the civilized places in this civilized manner, I'll be here all day. Time to get some rock hopping lessons then. Must meet Mankey. I feel bad because Mankey's been waiting like for the Temporin in the mines for a quite quite a while and we've just been like doing whatever, you know? Ah, <laughs> oh, so let's get back down. Learn how to do some rock hopping, and I'm assuming that's gonna probably be the end of the um the alpha, because we're unless we can get to uh Kisawa, which would be really sweet. But I don't know. Uh he said like round here, what? Where is he? I swear he said he was going to be here. Oh, in... Kipulis... Oh, i got to meet him there. Okay. I don't know where that is. But I'm guessing it'll... It might be the little area in the the south. Like, I think I have an idea where it is. But I could have sworn he will say he'll meet us by the Temporium in the mines. Did I misread that? I don't know. Oh, unless he means the one... Out here. Is it a mini, mini Temporium? I just assumed the mines, but this little area just... Yeah, there. Okay. That's where he's meeting us. Okie dokie. Dude, that looks so cool. Yo. Finally, have you done this before? Uh, never. Thought so. This is a very uh, Tukmani thing, so listen carefully. Rock hopping is the ancient art and uh, sport of skipping from one floating rock or isolate to the other. 
using the special rock hopping hook. It's made with, what's that sound? Uh, Intero reed, which you've probably seen around Tukma. Don't worry, it's very flexible and resistant. Use it properly and it will let you rock hop safely for years. So these are the basics. You find a proper spot for rock hopping, like this one here. You aim your rock hopping hook carefully, take a leap and zoom. You shoot your hook at the right moment. If you time it right, you should be able to nail the other side with the rock hopping hook. And the retractile Intero reed will do the rest, pulling you safely to the other side. And if I time it wrong, that's what the safety nets are for. I mean, here in this area is here in this in this area for novices. Once you rock hop far enough, there will be nothing breaking your fall if you miss. So make sure you are very proficient before you move on. Really, this is very risky. Not if you're properly trained. Some kids start learning at as early as six. This thing is very flexible. And you have a chance to rehook if you fall, as long as you're quick about it. But yeah, that's one reason why today is just a niche sport, a culture thing. We don't rock hop in Kisawa regularly anymore for uh, commerce and travel. It's all airships nowadays. Got it. Okay. This is kind of cool. Well done, Volty. Not bad form. Not bad at all. For a rookie rock hopper. Be careful on your trip to Kisawa. And not just with the hopping. I hear there's something wicked going on there. Hey. That's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. Kind of reminds me of the... Um, the grapple hook from from uh, Legend of Zelda. Not oh, the hook. Yeah, hook is a grapple. No, hook shot. Yeah. Oh, got some tamers. That was a great rock hop for a rookie. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. Make a decent rock hopper out of you. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. Sure. <laughs> Let's just tempt him up. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Should be an easy battle. Lovely. 20, 25 and 44. Okie dokie. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna heat up. Good. That's one down. No, that. The Drassel might end up killing my Yukama pretty quick. But yeah, I can see it dying. Oh, we lived. Let's go. Get our attack up and hopefully we can kill it quite quick. Gonna go into you as well. I think you can kill me. It'll be fine. Ow. We got barely any stamina left, so we should be fine. Uh, there's tornado and fire flame. Let's go. Two is so good. If it can evolve, dude, I thought this thing's gonna be super broken. He's already pretty tough. Oh, another guy. Hi. Ah, youngin. Uh, good day, sir. Now, no need to be so formal with uh, old Chematul. Show me some modern ten moves, will you? I can try. I can try. Oh, he's got a big dude. So we're switching out. I kind of love the design of this thing, not gonna lie, it's pretty, pretty cool. Kind of reminds me a bit like a muck, but kind of cuter, you know? With the little tongue sticking out. <laughs> uh, let's go, Windblade. Level 55! Oh my god! Didn't realize you're level 2 just now. I mean, it makes sense because you've got one Temtem, but still, it's. It's gonna be a little tough. He's got no stamina left, though, at least, which is good. Keep hitting you and any luck will take you out next turn or even this turn. If you want to try and attack, that'd be great. Nope, get some rest, that's fine. We outspeed just so get wrecked. Cool. Alright, which way are we going now? Right, which which way are we going? Uh oh, down that way. So if we go, oh, just go left. I think we go down and then we're there. Keep your rock hopping hook at hand and watch your step. Boring. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> All right, what you gotta do? Ooh, okay. 
That should be pretty... Yeah, we should be able to switch, aren't we? Yeah. So that should be pretty easy, but yeah. Let's... Actually, you're only level 31. Let's try and take you out now. Defense is down, that sucks. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so what I do is I water cannon blues to finish you off, and then I fire flame you because it's super effective. And hope you don't kill me. Because you might. Especially now that my defense is down and you're taking new karma. Great. Good, good. That's what we want. And you're no stamina left as well, so it sucks to be you. Uh. Kazuma, I guess. No, you're not, you're not weak to DCB Maya. Yeah, wrong, wrong move. This should finish you off, hopefully. But easily, easily. So the mirror in doesn't finish us off. The mirror might be physical attacks, maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, let's get to the next bit. Woo! Oh. You never give up, do you, Volti? Novenar, oh, why is he still looking like me? Novenar, full air blockade of Kisawa can stop you from crawling right up up here somehow. We should have a conversation, you and me. Wouldn't you, wouldn't your dear Professor Konstantinos have said that we need to listen to each other? We're not achieving anything with all this fighting. Dude, you suck, that's why. <laughs> that's why I came to tell you. Don't need to hate each other. We could help each other. My friends in the clan Bel Soto could help you and your friends. What do you say? I'll never join Clan Bel Solo. <laughs> Help me leave my fellow Bel Solos. What do I ever want to do that? You're still thinking like a child, pupil of C Professor Constantinos. It's like you never left Zadar. Grow up, Voltsy. Why have you joined? Why have I joined? Why hasn't the whole archipelago joined yet? We have powerful technology, the best Temtem ever. We're growing in numbers. We have a flying fortress. We don't need to follow the orders of no dojo masters. We just do what we please with our Thames. Soon, every single dojo will be ours. The, be the bell soldiers eat poop. What are you even? Se what, what are you? Seven? You're so sad, Voltsy. I was a bit. I was a bit like you back in Old Zadar, but I've uh, wised up. I think you will too. One day, one day we'll be comrades. You'll see. It's what Ina would have wanted for us, and you know it. To be friends, to work together. No thanks. Think about it. You know it's the right thing to do. One day you'll realize. Until then, be seeing you, Voltsy. Dude, I haven't liked you since I. The first part of playing the game. You suck. I gotta fight these guys. <laughs> Clan Bell Soda eat poop. Oh, dude. This game's funny. I love the writing in this game. It's kind of like just some bits are like just my sense of human. Human? Humor. <laughs> Alright, so if we DC beam. Oh, actually, we should be fine. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? We can get an electric storm off. Probably take them both out, to be fair. Ow. It's all good. It's all good. Please, please don't kill me, though. If I live this, I'm going to bomb plus up here. It's going to shroud. It should be fine. Uh, let's crystal dust you and then an electric storm. I think that should take them both out and then we can heal up after. On electric storm. Nice. Let's go. Kazuma, like, 100% when I get the early access comes out in January, I'm getting a uh, another Kazuma. They're too good. They are way too good. Oh, you got a Banshee? Okay. Might as well just DC beam that. You're four times weak, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Banshees get absolutely destroyed. So good. Yeah, can just Windblade, Mushok. Oh, just living. No Crystal Dust. And Windblade, and we good. And maybe two Y will evolve. It's level 41 now. Every time it grows a level, I just think, maybe it can evolve now. Maybe it can evolve now. We'll see. Radio. I'll be on my way now. Wait, what? Why am I back here? Okay. 
That was weird. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen, but oh, hi. And two I didn't evolve, which sucks. I don't want to talk about it. The Please, I need to know. I said I do not want I guess to talk about it. Okay. Is that what you got? I bet it's a high I bet it's like, like level 55 or something. It's gonna be a high level. 52, great. Uh, yeah, DC beam. Crystal dust it. Just like no damage. Please don't. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna up your stats, isn't it? Does it not up your stats? Does it recover stamina? I can't remember what that does. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Blizzard. Hey. And we we'll finish it off now. Get destroyed. Easy peasy, dude. Didn't even attack me. Well, did one tap, but you know, he didn't even kill me. He didn't even tempt him. Let's go. Right. Uh, oh, hi. Listen, I told you twice already. Oh, hi. Sorry, I thought you were from the guild. What are you doing? I'm trying to clean up this route. So many crystals in the way. Although, to be honest, I don't know if I should. Perhaps it's safer this way. Uh, it's safe how? Seems there's some very dangerous situation going on in Kisawa. Or so I'm told. So all I'm saying is, perhaps if it's better if we don't reopen the old rock hopping route to Vumbi. So whatever evil is there doesn't spill to a Tukma. So the route is blocked. Yes it is, buddy. The traditional rock hopping route goes west from here, and it leads to eastern Kisawa. That's say Savannah territory. I was there once in Vumbi. Very scenic city. How can I reach Kisawa then? My well, airship, I guess. I mean, that's always the safest and fastest way to travel. It's not the cheapest. This is the ancient route. People only use it for sport. Or, you know, if you're a hardcore traditionalist who thinks airships are impure or whatever. Time to find another route then. Yeah, unless they send someone someone to help me from the guild, then it's going to take a few days. In fact, we're taking to the next update of Temtem. Thank you for playing uh, this alpha. I hope you had a lot of fun and we look forward to your feedback. Your adventures will continue in Kisawa in the next version. See you there soon, Tamer. Hey, well there we go. We have finished the um, the alpha for oh, for Temtem. Actually, before I put the control on the floor, let me do one thing. Where is my um, like my rare candy? Might as well use it because uh, oh, so the game's gonna get wiped. Oh, okay, can I use it? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're ending the series here. We're going to be starting this game again. Because obviously they get our character's going to get wiped. I'm going to try and pre-make my character look the same. Because I kind of like how my character looks. Like the blue and pink hair looks really cool. But I think it's January 25th, early access drop. So once that does drop, we'll be, um, you know, starting a new character. Doing a... You know, daily series until I think when the early access drops, it's the first fifty percent of the game. Not sure if like what we've played from the first alpha to now is the first fifty percent, but it's definitely a lot. And if we can go even further, then actually, did in the next update, we'll go to uh, Kisawa. So I guess you know a bit more. Looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll catch you guys in twenty twenty. Also, enjoy your Christmas. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. Peace.